Hi there guys, Jean back with you. Tonight I want to show you guys uh, quite a couple of anomalies I discovered in a high rise photo. It's this one here guys. Um, and it's called Dyke and Cave Upslope of Rod Vallis. was taken by the high rise on the 4th of March 2008. So it's uh, some of the first photographs taken of Mars. This is the one here guys and then um, I think this is the the cave over here. They don't have any description with this photo so went through the high rise photograph in high view briefly and uh, it looked to me as if this could be the, the cave guys and uh, near it is also what seems like a little multi-sided pyramid and then to the left of this is a giant crater and this is the piece that I'm featuring mainly in this video guys together with uh, some other anomalies scattered around this area and there it is look at that megalith guys it looks as if it's got uh, three sides and uh, a funny rectangle or crescent shape cut into the one face let me show you what it looks like up close guys so there it is there let's zoom in on it Okay, so here's the, the face with the a rectangle or crescent shape cut into it. Also, it looks like a triangle cut into the one side there towards the right. And guys, at the top here, you can see two more sides in a triangular shape. So it appears as if this block is... Uh, a three-sided megalith. It's 10 meters high, approximately 10 meters high, four and a half meters wide, and then it's got uh, various anomalies lying around it, guys. I'll take you through the the image now. Look at these uh, the blocks lying next to this. There's uh, what appears to be a cube over there. Look at those 90 degree angles another rectangular block here yeah, guys so let's go towards the bottom right look at this uh, shape over here yeah, guys this uh, outline is repeated over there there's definitely some geometry and symmetry to this guys look at these flat sides with these two uh, peaks over there triangular peaks then this piece over here towards the right that looks like a, a piece of broken uh, monument or it could be part of a ruin totally devastated this area has been destroyed guys by the looks of it Look at this uh, symmetry in that shape as well. That uh, shape is repeated on this side here, guys. Okay. Take it towards the right a bit more. I'll try and keep this video brief, guys, but there's lots of anomalies to show you in this one. There's another block over there. Okay, these could be natural and they just look odd because I've zoomed in so much this photograph was taken from 297 kilometers up so these anomalies are quite big but quite blurry as well so but we can make out the outlines guys so that there too looks like it's got some structure and geometry to it 
Look at that shape over there is repeated there. And let's go over a bit. This is what I see, guys. Let me know what you see in the comments below, please. Okay, here's the item I wanted to show you. Look at these three objects there, guys. They look like three donuts over there, similar in shape. Got another one over there, it looks like a, a rectangle, another rectangle there. Okay guys, let's zoom across to the left side of the crater. Right, look at that piece there. It's definitely got some symmetry to it, like that, that shape is repeated on this side. And it's got these two funny nobules, if I could call them that, on top, in the shape of a Y. Okay, right, guys, this over here is definitely. Um, symmetry in those parallel lines. There's uh, what looks like a rectangle, or I don't know, it looks like a right angled uh, piece that's been sort of cut out of that block. Look at that there, guys. This could this be a pipe? Look at that round opening over there. looks like pieces of a, a machine perhaps pure speculation guys there's a piece over here with these uh, holes there this almost looks like a, a cylinder with a hole there there's a, a ball or a sphere lying there, dark grey. Guys, if you see anything here that I miss, please let me know. Then we've got this over here with another hole cut in there. It's also got some geometry to it. There could be another ball there. There's another, possibly a pipe. Look at that piece there, guys. It's also got geometry with that rectangle, that rectangular cut in it. In this piece over here, it looks like it. Uh, those two sides, those angles are sort of equal. another triangular shape there guys some more symmetry in this piece look at that up there that extends out of that it's got 90 degree elbow sort of joints in it in this piece over here guys it looks as if um, this is a piece of folded metal, metal sheet. It's got this um, <clears throat> piece that, that looks almost like a U bent around there. And that looks like 
a block lying on its side that's very rounded there he has another what looks like a box it's got one two three sides visible there guys there's the opening perhaps as I say this is what I see guys okay gosh there's so much in this looks like another ball there and there look at this piece here guys also with this uh, rectangle cut into it and then this piece there also looks as if it could have been uh, a container of sorts another piece looks like a piece of metal that's been bent sheet metal that's bent there as well that there too looks like a, a N and an N two crescent shapes there some geometry there's a, another sphere or ball there guys looks like it and over here this anomaly uh, this shape is repeated there in the shade so this is another solid object with some geometry or structure to it Let's go towards the right. Guys, I'll try and enhance these photos a little better in uh, Photoshop and I'll include them in my blog. Um, once done, as always, I'll put the link in the video description below. Look at this piece here, too, guys. It's got this uh, perfectly rounded edge with uh, sort of a dome there. Very odd looking anomaly. Another 90 degree angle there. As I say, lots of these could be natural guys, but we don't know. Who knows? Eh? Look at that piece. It looks almost like an anvil. There's another square shape there. Could this be another container or box, guys? Maybe another block. Some more odd shapes, yeah? And it seems to be repeated there. Look at that, the surrounding and peak or triangle, rounding peak. Guys, there's so many anomalies, yeah. Sure, I'm gonna miss something. This year is also odd. There's a rectangular block lying there, but it looks as if these are they almost look like uh, claws, like uh, I don't know. 
That, that there looks like the... Uh, that really looks like a, a claw. Three of them over here. Okay, that's what it looks like, guys. Um, not that it is. In this odd anomaly there. Also has geometry to it. Definitely some symmetry, maybe. Okay, guys, I think we're getting to the last anomalies now. There's some odd pieces here. this as well that there uh, piece of sheet metal that's bent into a, a U shape and then that piece there possibly joined onto it it's rounded in front could that have been uh, together Guys, could this be machinery that's been destroyed, utterly destroyed? Because there's so much 90 degree angles. There's another crescent shape thing. Okay, guys, we're on the edge of the crater, and I think that's all I wanted to show you. Yeah? Right, so... Here's the NASA page. I'll include the link below, guys. <coughs> Taken from 297-odd kilometers above the target site. And I used that scale there, 25 centimeters per pixel, guys, so that's what gave me the the height and width of that um, megalith over there so, let's just quickly go there so based on that scale it's approximately 10 meters high four and a half meters wide and uh, if you look at the shadow here it definitely looks as if it's standing up straight very strange obviously it's also quite eroded odd looking piece could that be part of it? And is that, could this be one big block, guys? Gee, I don't know, guys. It's very odd. Then, um, just some details. I downloaded the JP2 black and white map projected image. And uh, they recommend that you do that if you want to use that scale. And uh, it reminded me of another cave that I found, guys, towards the uh, beginning of January. I think it was on the 8th of January. I uh, posted it here in my blog. Also, I did a video on it. I'll include the links of both. This is it yeah, guys. Um, there isn't a high-rise photograph of this only the context or CTX um, this is what it looks like there not a lot of detail guys the CTX photographs are good but you can't extract much detail out of them 
If you get a chance, have a look at the video because I think I found some anomalies, artificial anomalies inside the cave, guys. This is the uh, the link to that CTX photo, and I'll include this in the video description below as well, guys. And uh, that cave I found is yeah right at the bottom so from time to time I'll check um, hopefully high-rise will take a nice high-res photograph of this anomaly and then we'll see those artifacts clearer if they aren't uh, covered up not that they will but let's just uh, see if, if they do release a high-rise of this area here guys it's a fascinating photo as well massive so I think I've covered everything I wanted to and uh, yeah guys have a look at this if you can and uh, see if you guys can see anything I might have missed let me know please and uh, until then take care and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching